Dream mo rin bang makapag-travel sa Japan? Umpisa nang mag-ipon at planuhin ang Japan escapades mo. Kayang-kayang pag-iponan yan. Japan is more than just a travel destination for me. It tops the list of my favorite countries in the world. I've had the privilege of visiting Japan several times and each experience has left me more in love with the country's culture, food, and breathtaking scenery. My first trip to Japan was in 2017 when I was granted a single entry visa. Then in 2019, I was lucky enough to receive 5-year multiple entry visa allowing me to return for even more incredible adventures. In fact, I celebrated the 2020 New Year countdown in the heart of Shibuya, Tokyo. It was an unforgettable experience. Check out that vlog at the end of this video. First Japan Travel Call, it was an incentive from my company. Also during the time, I was already earning a good amount of money. So kahit pa paano, may mong laman ng mga account to justify my travel. I've explored Nagoya, Osaka, Kyoto, Yokohama, Kawagoe, and Tokyo so far, and I'm eager to visit more cities in the future. I've been fortunate to experience the spring, a bit of winter in December, and the lively summer in July, but I dream of seeing Japan in every season. There's something truly magical about how the country transforms throughout the year, from the blooming sakura in the spring to the vibrant festivals in summer. the peaceful snowfall in winter and of course the beautiful colors of autumn with that i'm excited to help you take the first step toward your own japanese adventure by sharing this easy guide to obtaining a japanese visa so ano handa ka na ba most probably marami ka na nabasang vlog at napanood na vlog about this but it's a good thing that you're still watching this vlog para sa dagdag na kaalaman you just came to the right place but first why travel to japan number one cultural richness and heritage Japan is a land where tradition meets modernity. Every time I visited, I've been amazed by how seamlessly ancient temples and shrines stand alongside towering skyscrapers. You can walk through the serene Fushima Inari Shrine in Kyoto, then explore the vibrant energy of Tokyo Shibuya Crossing within the same trip. Number two, unique seasonal experiences. One of my biggest dreams is to experience Japan's seasons in full. So far, I've only seen spring, the beginning of winter in December, and the hot summer of July. Each season in Japan has its own special charm. For spring, the beauty of the cherry blossom or sakura is beyond words. Parks like Ueno Park in Tokyo come alive with the soft pink petals, making it a truly magical experience. Winter, while I've only felt a light chill in December, I'm eager to return for a true winter wonderland. In places like Hokkaido, where snow blankets the landscape. For summer, the summer heat doesn't stop the excitement. Japan is alive with festivals, fireworks, and street food, and visiting in July was one of the liveliest times I've ever experienced. This November, I wish I could experience autumn. I definitely share with you my experience after my visit. Number 3, Japanese food. Japanese food lovers paradise. And trust me, once you've had sushi, ramen, and tempura in Japan, there's no going back. Each region has own specialties. And I've had the best food experiences in my life in places like Osaka, where I indulge in fresh takoyaki and okonomiyaki. Number 4, high quality tourism experiences. Japan is one of the most organized countries I've visited. From the efficient trains to the friendly locals, it's a place that truly really knows how to take care of tourists. Whether you are a first time traveler or a repeat visitor like me, Japan makes sure that your stay is enjoyable and hassle-free. So let's do it! Here's a step-by-step -step guide to obtaining Japanese visa, especially for Filipinos. Number one, determine the type of visa you need. If you're visiting Japan for the first time, you'll likely apply for a single entry visa, which was what I received back in 2007. However, if you plan to visit Japan multiple times as I do, you may eventually apply for a multiple entry visa, perfect for those who want to explore more of this amazing country. Number two, choose an accredited travel agency. Japan doesn't accept direct visa applications, so I recommend applying through an accredited agency. I personally use Rally Tours and their service has always been reliable. You can also check out agencies like Friendship Tours or Discovery Tours. Number three, prepare the required documents. Make sure to have all the necessary documents ready for a smooth application. First, what you need. Philippine passport should be valid for at least six months with two blank pages. Next is visa application form which is available from the Japanese embassy website or the travel agency. Then, one passport size, photo, white background, 
your birth certificate from PSA issued within the last year, your marriage certificate if you are married already, then your daily schedule or your Japan itinerary, bank certificate showing sufficient funds for the trip, income tax return or certificate of employment, then hotel bookings or invitation letter if applicable. From my experience, being meticulous with your paperwork helps the process go smoothly. Number four, submit your application. After gathering all your documents, submit them to your tools and travel agency. I recommend applying at least one month before your trip to avoid any delays. Wait for the result. Processing time usually takes around five to seven working days, but it can vary depending on the volume of applications. In my case, my visa was ready with Inu. Then receive your passport with visa. If your application is successful, your passport will be returned with the visa attached. And congratulations, you're one step closer to your dream Japan trip. Tips for a successful visa application. Show strong ties to the Philippines. Submit proof of employment or business ownership such as Certificate of Employment or ITR to demonstrate that you have obligations to return to after your trip. Be clear about your travel details. Include the specific plans in your itinerary such as the places you'll visit and where you'll stay. Being detailed shows the embassy you have a well thought out trip. Sufficient financial capacity. Ensure that your bank statement reflects enough savings to cover your travel expenses. While there's no exact amount, having 100,000 pesos or more in your account should suffice. Double check your documents. Incomplete or incorrect paperwork can delay your visa approval. Make sure everything is in order before submission. Obtaining a Japanese visa may seem daunting at first, but it's a straightforward process if you are well prepared. Japan is a destination full of amazing experiences for Filipino tourists. Whether it's admiring the cherry blossoms in spring, exploring the neon streets of Tokyo, or savoring a hot bowl of ramen, on a cold winter day. Each season in Japan brings its own unique experiences. Spring for the cherry blossoms, summer for festivals, autumn for its vibrant colors, and winter for skiing and hot springs. Whether you're traveling for culture, food, or nature, Japan offers something for everyone, making it a dream destination that is well worth the effort to visit. Ready to explore Japan? If you are thinking of applying for a Japan visa, now is the perfect time. Prepare your documents, submit your application, and soon we will be on your way to experiencing the magic of Japan. Safe travels! Check out these videos for my New Year's experience in Tokyo and the entire second season of our travel series which include a trip to Tokyo, Japan's energetic capital. See you on the next episode. Sayonara!